We are live at RE Plus 2023 here in Las Vegas, and I'm hanging out with Jason Higginson, head of marketing for AP Systems North America. Good to see you again, Jason. Good to see you, Nico. How you been? I've been well. I've uh, I've had finally the opportunity to make my way back into level two and uh, peruse the show floor, and I was really impressed with the not only the spinning marquee above our head, but this demo room that you have, I don't think I've ever seen one like this on the show floor. This, what, what, what's the inspiration behind the, the circular demo room? Well, we were really trying to tell a story. So uh, we have a lot of stories to tell. And uh, the inspiration is, you know, AP Systems. You know, our logo is this, you know, circular yeah. thing. And so you could, even the tables kind of reflect the they symbology do. behind our, our icon. But, um, yeah, the story is, you know, commercial, residential, energy storage. So we're just trying to take each of those in stages rather than a, a wall where people are yeah. like, what's the application? Yeah. You know, let's try to make it, it clear. And yeah. we, we show, you know, a house, we show a commercial building so people can really dig in and see what that application is. You know, I can imagine that it made it really easy for, uh, for your sales team and your tech team to just walk folks, almost like walking them through a showroom. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's place by place. And uh, I mean, I gotta say the placement is very thoughtful and I would say elegant, like pretty. And that's not something that you come to expect all the, that much these days at solar trade shows. So uh, kudos to you. A lot of folks are very familiar with the AP Systems brand, um, but they may not be um, as familiar with how AP Systems is differentiating from other micro inverters, other power electronics companies. Could you help clarify that for us? Yeah, so several different ways. I mean, we're really trying to be, you know, the installer's micro inverter. Uh, so many other uh, competitors, they just, they market and target uh, the homeowner. Uh, but there are so many benefits that the installers get from using our product. And they just, they love our product because it, it goes in easy. Uh, it also helps them create a competitive advantage in the marketplace. And, um, uh, and it's, uh, significant differentiator in just like labor savings, cost savings, you know, the list goes on. How, what's the feedback from installers? How does it give them a competitive advantage in the marketplace specifically? So yeah, great question. So when our products go on the roof, they go in significantly faster. So we've had installers that can do like more jobs in a day. Um, also in terms of like pricing, you know, we have a multi-module microverter serves more than one PV module. Yeah. So when we build a microinverter, a competitor builds a microinverter, we're both building one microinverter, I just happen to serve two PV modules. Yeah. And so the, the economics there, um, when an installer looks to you know, charge a certain amount, same output for a system here and a system here, but their cost on our system is significantly less, they can still have a competitive bid, they're making more margin. And at the end of the day, you know, yeah. we want these installers to be successful because when they grow their business, we grow ours. Yeah. You know, that focus on the installer, I, I know I've had lots of conversations with Ryan Davies, who, uh, who ran sales for you for a long time um, and, and built this sort of this culture of service to the installers. Could you talk a bit about the impact that you've seen in the marketplace with AP Systems providing an alternative to the incumbents? Yeah, I mean, the impact has been huge. We've been able to grow our business in every major market around the world. We're now, uh, we have four global business units. We're now serving customers in over 100 countries. Uh, we've now shipped uh, well over uh, four gigawatts of products. Um, well over, uh, uh, we're approaching three million microinverters now. Um, and uh, we recently went, uh, went public with a, a well over $2 billion valuation. So it's, um, I mean, the market has responded. It's like they, they appreciate our products, the value that we bring in the marketplace and, uh, and how we are a competitive offering compared to like Enphase and Solar Edge. Yeah. As I stand here in the showroom, one of the things that immediately stands out to me is I don't see a single house. Oh, okay, it's behind me, there it is. <laughs> so while the house is behind me, I also sort of feel like the, the concept of module level power electronics as an innovation or a novelty is, uh, is behind us now in the residential sector, but not so much in the sector that I think is going to be the most in interesting and, and accelerating, and that is commercial and industrial. You've got the Yada battery over here. You've got your commercial in microinverters. And you, I don't think if you asked many installers, their thoughts would immediately go to, 
microinverters for right. commercial systems. Can you tell me the um, the reception by installers of the concept of microinverters for uh, commercial systems, and how does it enhance a CNI project? Yeah, I mean you're right on point. It's a brilliant question because uh, when we in introduced this QT2 commercial microinverter at last year's RE Plus, um, we had so many commercial installers that were saying, "Oh, it's oh microinverters. That's a residential product. Yeah. It's it's not powerful enough. It's I know it's going to be too expensive." You know, all these, all these kind of barriers, they uh -huh. had this kind of paradigm on what a microinverter was. And, uh, and we specifically designed this for commercial projects. We designed it so that it could be competitive with like string inverter systems with rapid shutdown. Um, and it's priced competitively like within even a megawatt project within 1%. Yeah. So, okay, that's an education issue then. Like we need to get out to the market. We need to talk about how this is specific for that and kind of shift that paradigm of what microinverters are good for and uh, and how they can adapt to the, the commercial market and really help that um, uh, in terms of let's eliminate all this extra labor. Let's let's improve uh, the reliability yeah. of it. Because, I mean, if you think about it, you have like a 100 panel system and whether it's, you know, one rapid shutdown device or one, let's say, optimizer with a solar edge system, you'll have at least 100 devices there on the route. Right. With AP Systems, our four-in-one microinverter, you reduce that by 75%. So 75% improvement in reliability because fewer power electronics. And on top of that, how many turns of the wrench? You know, yeah. how many times are you installing a device? Right. Um, so we're sim simplifying the logistics, the cost, and the labor. Yeah. And it also simplifies the balance of system, right? Because in traditional system, you've got all the DC home runs, and a microinverter solves that problem. So it, it, reduces, uh, it reduces the all overall balance of system required on the roof, which reduces the expensive electric electrician work required um, at, the, at, the, at the junction in the home run point. And that's another great point, is we, we really wanted this to be plug and play three yeah. phase. So it goes onto one trunk cable, you drop that into your sub panel on a 30 amp breaker. And it's like, I mean, it's five wires right in the cable. Line one, two, three, neutral ground. Um, and we have like residential installers that are able to do commercial projects yeah. now because it's really easy. And reduces the trades required to be able to accomplish the scale that we really need. I think that's the thing that stands out to me the most is we need to be able to empower in the installers that are currently existing to be able to grow their, their offerings without needing to, um, to find qualified electricians who, I mean, which is increasingly a difficult scheduling task, if nothing else. Yeah. But, no, but the other thing that stands out to me is it improves the safety on the roof. Obviously, we've got module level shutdown, but without when you don't have uh, DC 600 volt running all over the rooftop, firefighters are happy, and installers are happy, and building owners are happy. Yeah, low voltage AC, it stays under that 80 volt threshold, inherently compliant with rapid shutdown. You're right, they love it. Yeah. Well, one thing that we haven't talked about, and you teased it when we last met in Philadelphia, is the battery storage system. Right. Could you could you tease us a little more with how is the AP Systems Energy Storage product coming along? Yeah. So we've recently introduced uh, at this show. We just launched a press release on on Monday. Our AP Storage solution. Uh, a key differentiator for us is uh, is one. To be clear, we we're not a battery company. We don't make batteries. And so we really defer to the experts on energy storage there. So we've partnered with some of the best in the industry. We've got Home Grid, we've got Fortress, uh, we've got a variety of other compatible battery brands with our product. Where, where we come in strong is the power conversion, yeah. whether it's DC to AC or it's AC to DC. So that's what we've designed. We've designed a power conversion device, yeah. a battery charger, yeah. uh, that can take the AC either from the roof with our products or anybody else's system on the roof, but takes that AC, converts it to DC to charge the battery, and then manages the discharge as well. So uh, lots of different modes for those two in terms of self-consumption and uh, time of use and, uh, and even battery backup. For those who are trying to figure out then how the AP storage management system fits in, where would you characterize that in the toolkit for an installer? Um, it's, it empowers them with some flexibility. So we've got several different modes that the, the system can manage, but the adaptability and the communication, one key differentiator is like, Enphase uses one battery type. 
uh, Solar Edge uses one battery type. Yeah. And if the homeowner has a preference on a kind of battery, or even the installer, they're just like, this battery goes in in 30 minutes, like like the home grid versus yeah. this other one, which you know may take five or six hours. Yeah. So if I'm an installer, I'm going to be looking the, for those that are you know reliable, but also you know install quick. Um, and so we're really empowering those installers. Once again, that's the story of AP Systems, uh, is uh, you know giving them the choice, the flexibility to be able to pick a battery they're choosing, um, and as long as the it's on our compatible com compatibility list. If not, we can add it. We just need to verify communication that they can talk to each other. Um, and then, uh, yeah, they can use that battery brands uh, to, to work uh, with our system and you know enjoy that flexibility. Yeah, and flexibility, I think, is the key to AP systems. And it's one of the reasons that installers keep coming back to the product. Jason Higginson is the head of marketing for AP systems. Thanks for taking the time to speak with us here on the show floor. Thanks, Nico. Chris Ling is the applications engineer, most knowledgeable here on the battery storage product for AP Systems. Chris, I'd like to ask, how would you explain, or how have you explained to the thousands of folks that have come by the AP Systems energy storage product? Absolutely, good to meet you, Nico. So the brains of our AP storage product is the, what we call the PCS, or power conversion system. The other name is the battery inverter, and the model name is called the ELS 5K, and it is this device over here. Uh, it is the main brains of the storage system where it acts as the AC-DC interface for various DC batteries. Chris, what do you think folks are most commonly trying to understand, or how do they perhaps get it wrong when they're thinking about the AP system's energy storage device compared with competitors? Yeah, it's a really good question. Um, a lot of people often have the, mis have the misperception that this is a hybrid inverter, but it is not a hybrid inverter, it's just a battery inverter. We want our AP storage solution to work the best with our AP Systems micro inverters, which is an AC coupled uh, PV solution. So because it is not a hybrid inverter, it does not have the high voltage DC uh, system, it is just the AC DC system for the batteries. Another common misconception is that we are a AC battery where the inverter and a battery are combined, but it is not. We allow the flexibility of allowing you to choose other DC batteries of different types um, to be able to work with our inverter system. Chris, what was the most common question that you got on the show floor over the last three days? I think the most common question I've received is what sort of operation modes can you use the storage system at? The main three modes that we have is backup mode, which is basically you keep your battery as full as possible so that when you go into the off-grid scenario, you disconnect and you have much capacity. The second mode is self-consumption mode. And self-consumption mode means I'm, not going to, I'm going to limit usage from the grid and try to use solar and batteries instead. The third mode is time of use mode, where you can set a schedule and hours of when you're off-peak or uh, on peak hours. When the grid is expensive, don't use the grid, charge from solar and use the batteries. When the grid is cheap, they can pull from the grid to charge the system as well. Another common question that I've received is, are you allowed to do off-grid solar? When you lose the grid, will you be able to charge uh, from solar panels? The answer is yes, with the S3 microinverters, uh, which is part of our platform. So what you're saying is, coupled with the AP Systems microinverter, the energy storage product becomes grid forming essentially for the for the home. It's not it, it isn't subject to anti islanding. I'm I'm really curious to better understand how it can perform in off grid mode. Yeah, absolutely for sure. So when you're in an on grid scenario, um, everything functions normally, where you have your inverters, uh, your solar microinverters running, and then you have your battery system uh, charging and discharging to the grid. As soon as you lose the grid, this is actually another common question. Uh, as soon as you lose the grid, our PCS system will disconnect from the grid. So it's a built-in ATS or automatic transfer switch. It disconnects from the grid and then it powers the system through the batteries. Um, and if you have off-grid solar, you'll be able to use solar to charge the system as well. What is the thing that most surprises folks when they start really digging into the capabilities of this product? Yeah, another thing that's also interesting is that if people are not fully ready for solar quite yet, but they do want to have a backup solution, because this is an AC coupled solution, you're able to connect this system 
without solar. So you can just use this to use the grid to charge your batteries, um, and then you'll be able to fill it up. And when you lose the grid, then you'll be able to have backup to uh, have your system ready in an off-grid scenario. Then when the homeowner is ready, you'll be able to go back and add solar to your system. One quick question on just a clarification. With the modes, is that something that is a, is a remote operation, something that the installer has to do, or is that something that the homeowner can control? Yeah, that's a really good question. So one of the powerful things about our AP Systems, AP Storage solution, is that the homeowner has access to a mobile app that you can use to not only see where power is going, how much power you're producing, how much power you're, per, you're consuming, uh, you will also be able to set the modes that you want. So say, for example, your, your home is primarily using self-consumption mode, where you're trying to limit usage of the grid, but you're using your batteries and solar to charge your system. But say, for example, you know this that some, then an outage event is going to be coming soon. Say, oh, there's a hurricane coming. The homeowner will be able to use your app, go in, and quickly change your system to go into backup mode. So that way, when the outage event has come, you'll be, pre be prepared to have a full battery when that happens. You mentioned how uh, it seems quite homeowner friendly. One of the things that is a common refrain for installers is homeowners are very particular about what kinds of batteries they want to use. I would love it if you could enunciate uh, the different battery products or man manufacturers who are qualified to connect and uh, if there's anything else that would be important for a homeowner to understand around the selection process. Absolutely. So um, one thing that is key about our product, as I had mentioned before, the type of DC batteries that you can use to connect to our system is quite flexible. Um, in general, the main thing is that the batteries need to be low voltage, so 40 through 60 volts. Um, if you can communicate to the BMS through RS-45 or CAN, uh, then it will be compatible. Uh, in terms of the battery offerings that we have, we have a, a large list of batteries that we can work with um, and that we have done testing with as well. Uh, another thing, especially that's really important in the U.S. market, is that we have UL9540 certification with a couple of the DC batteries. Uh, the main ones I want to highlight is our own uh, our own AP batteries that we provide, and we are also UL9540 certified uh, with the home grid uh, batteries as well. Um, and as we know, in the market, there are many different types of batteries out there. There are stackable ones, there are wall-mounted ones, there are ones where you can put inside of racks. Um, and we want to be open and flexible with what types of batteries that we work with. Again, I think the core theme at the AP Systems booth this year is flexibility and installer focus and being homeowner friendly. Chris Ling, thank you for taking the time to explain the battery product to us. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Nico. Thank you.